officially the first patient on our patient. interview series. Um, Glad well, to be here. Thank you for joining thank you. us this afternoon. Thank you. So please introduce yourself, name, age, and what your team is. My name is Brendan Cowley, 23, from the US of A, currently living in Canada. I ride for Above and Beyond Cancer Racing. We're a pretty experienced racer, so let's talk about that um, for a little bit. Like, yep. I mean, virtual racing is a different form of racing. It's newer, but how long have you actually been racing bikes for? So I've been racing for 13 years. This is 10, each time 11, and started on the velodrome and uh, transitioned to the road a couple years after that. And yeah, I've just been racing full seasons ever since. Awesome, awesome. Um, and then, obviously, with the virus and all that, we've transitioned to a more virtual racing. Um, but have you had any previous experience with virtual racing or cycling? No, well, obviously done a fair amount of work on the trainer over the years. But no, this was my first for foray into uh, e-racing. It was excellent. Nice. nice, yeah, and like um, I didn't mention it before, but you've, you've been using RGT for quite a while. Um, and obviously you're quite adept at racing on it now. But do you have any experience with racing on other platforms like Swift and such? No, so I started racing on RGT and had a minimal experience on Swift, uh, minimal experience in racing uh, in general. And uh, yeah, just got the call and jumped into the deep end. <laughs> nice, nice. Good. The reason we're chatting today is, is about the uh, Cycling BC virtual racing series that's yep. coming up. Um, now, are there any key personal goals that you have for this series? Um, not really. It'll be interesting to see the, what the courses look like and if, uh, if they suit me at all. Of course, you know, also depending on the, what the team looks like. And probably just being as helpful as I can for the team. And, uh, and yeah, no real personal ambitions. So playing team player for this event series? Yeah. What's your like general, what do you, what do, you do on the team? Um, so my role on the team is as a climber um, for real life stuff. Um, on RGT, as much as I can help on the climbs, I do. Um, and then yeah, just a, a body basically. And uh, if I can be in position at the end of races, great. Help out a little bit, but um, yeah. just a little bit more of a domestique role. Totally. Okay. Yeah, um, and then obviously since you are a bit of more of a domestique, your team might have a target rider that would like to win some stages. So yep. who's, who's the rider on your squad that we should be looking out for? So the main guy on our squad uh, who has the most experience in e racing is Matt Osborne. He's been e racing for a while. Super strong guy. He knows his way around all the platforms. And so probably be working for him. And then depending on how hilly the courses are, we've got some other guys. So yeah, we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see our team structure and how that applies to the racing. That's pretty awesome. As we close out today, I'd like just to ask that one important question we all like to know. What's that one song that gets you across the finish line? Uh, usually by the time I cross the finish line, I'm not really hearing stuff. Okay. Um, I like my rap. I like my hip-hop. Um, lots of DMX at the end of playlists. <laughs> it gets me going. Uh, but yeah, generally, I'm, I'm not really hearing anything that's going on. Yeah. Awesome, that's great to hear. Thanks for chatting with us today, Brandon. Thanks yeah. for interviewing. See you at all the courses.